Good morning everyone and welcome back. If you haven't already, subscribe, otherwise hit that like button, that'd be awesome. But today is an awesome day because we are taking the bulls out of the cows. So there is one to go in here and the one that was in this herd is in this paddock with his mate again. Hopefully they sort of settle their differences and they don't scrap too much because the, the worry is that they do start fighting and push them or get pushed through the fence back into the race. But they seem pretty good before they were having a little scrap earlier on but apart from that they've been fine. Rightio mate, out of here, come on, come on out you go, you know the drill. I'm gonna go lose. Come on. Bit of a change of plans because this fella shouldn't be in here. He actually just got nudged over the fence there, broke a wire. So, what we're gonna do is probably put him in the paddock over there to keep them separate and I was planning to put this fella back in with this guy but this is all just sort of temporary fencing so it's pretty easy to go through there is power on it though and it's going quite well but we might put one of them in number nine which is just straight through there I know you want to come out not today matey they are booked in to go to the works but today is Saturday and they don't work through the weekend they could have got picked up yesterday but I was away so it would have just been a little bit too hard for dad milking and sort of drafting them out and putting them on the truck so it's a little bit easier if we have a bit of time to do it because it can be it can be quite a job because these fellas when they get mixed up especially in a small space they do tend to sort of uh, take a while to get acquainted again so Hopefully they might get picked up early next week. Monday would be ideal, but if not, sort of Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. He's an absolute plonker, but today we are actually into our 10th week of mating. So what would usually happen is I would leave them in for another week but I'm trying something new this year I've still got the AI bank here and what I've done is there is 40 straws there Let's have a look, quick look at the milk filter see how clean it is oh there is a bit of mastitis on there is that just butter no that's mastitis must be a cow in here with a little bit of mastitis because the sow count has been sort of fluctuating from about 140 to 170 over the last sort of four to five days so something's definitely got a bit of it I haven't found it yet and uh, be good if I did find it because then I'd drop it right back down to sort of 100 hopefully but I ordered 40 straws of short gestation semen probably about six weeks ago I sort of came up with the idea that since these cows have got these true test collars on all the information is so readily available just on my phone every morning when I get up I know which cows are on heat so I don't have to apply any tail pain or any indicators it makes it easy and there won't be many on a day at the moment because we are coming to the end of mating there was actually nothing that was on today yesterday I think there was two so there's not going to be many it's not going to be much of a workload for dad bit of a thunderstorm rolling through at the moment it's pretty heavy rain hopefully it doesn't stick around for too long but if you're wondering what I'm talking about when I say short gestation length, this is it right here and this is the blurb on the dairy bit. They do also have Hereford and Angus packs you can get. I'm not using beef though, I'm just using dairy. And what it is is a crossbred semen. So they don't offer short gestation with Frisian or Jersey. I think, I think it's just crossbred. And these bulls are specifically bred to have their calves early. And I think that they are weighted to about 30 days so it's about three weeks earlier than normal but you've got to take into consideration the gestation length of the cow and that's what brings it back to about that 10 day 10 to 12 day mark earlier than normal it's going to be an absolute game changer and it's nothing new it has been around for quite a while but 
this year, now that with the collars, it's just going to make it easy, so I'm going to give it a go. So that means the cows that were on heat yesterday, which hopefully are in calf, will be calving about the same day as anything that is going to be on heat in about 10 days time. So it's just going to bring the tail end forward by quite a bit, which is a massive help for those cows getting in calf the following year. Because generally the ones that calve at the end of calving are harder to get in calf because they get less time to come on heat. So bringing it forward just helps all that little bit more. I'm also wondering whether I should extend my mating period or mating length this year from 10 weeks to 11. So I can do an extra week. There really shouldn't be too many cows coming on in that last week. But anything that does, give it another shot. Hopefully it sort of pulls through. But not only is it good for the cow, but it's also financially good for us because that means we can also get another week to 10 days worth of milk from that cow. Hopefully that all makes sense, but I did actually just have a little look earlier on today and it's looking like our six week in calf rate, just off the information I've got, is about 82 or just over 82% this year. And I don't know how accurate that is. Like I don't think it's, I think it'll be a little bit less. It'll be sitting sort of in the high 70s because I have had quite a few late returns come through. Not quite a few, but the odd one sort of comes through from that 40 to 50 day mark. You're like, oh no. There's also about 16 cows that haven't cycled yet. So that is roughly about 5% of the herd. So our empty rate this year, yeah, it's definitely going to be higher than last year. I reckon it'll be sort of maybe 8 to 10% possibly. So it's also another reason I might do that extra week just to, like I say, try and get more cows and calf. And that just gives me more options at the end of the season culling wise. But I've had some good news. So these fellas are off on Monday morning. Marty rang this morning, said the truck's coming at 8, which is pretty early for us. So I think we might have to try and get cups on about an hour earlier so we can sort of arrange things. I've also got a few cows that are going to go with them. Just sending a few culls off now instead of trying to hold on to them while I'm a little bit short. I was also thinking the other day I might use some of that beef short gestation stuff next year. I was actually speaking to someone and they said the fastest genetic gain you can get through your herd for like improvement wise is by not keeping the bottom end of your herd. So what I'm going to do next year is sort of the bottom 20% figure wise I'm going to sort of make them to probably like a beef or something like that, something easy carving because I don't want to keep replacements from them. So that's where that short gestation beef might come in handy. So from about the 10th day onwards, I could use that over the cows I don't want to keep a replacement calf from, get more days out of milk from them. And they should be pretty easy to tell if, if they're say like an Angus, if an Angus comes out of a Jersey, it's usually pretty dark, sort of that black color. So it should be pretty easy to tell. Top this paddock last time and the grass has just come back so nice. Beautiful. Cows are gonna love it. But that's me done for the afternoon, so I'll see you in the morning and see if we've got any cows on. Well, guess what? <laughs> yep, you probably guessed it. There's nothing on heat today either. I've just seen this cow here though, number 66, and she actually hasn't been inseminated yet this year, so that is good. And she was standing before there was a cow that rode her. I was a little bit suspicious about her yesterday. She hasn't come up on the app yet and that is probably because there is like a 40% heat intensity threshold so it's going to get over that to register and she's probably not quite at that yet. So maybe it's a little bit early but I think I'd rather get her today and take the chance and then if she's fully on later on like I think it'll probably pick her up. Oh they're going behind the hill but I think they'll probably pick her up later on today so I'd rather do her now. Give her a shot anyway.
She's never going to get in calf if I don't put her up though, especially when the bulls aren't in here anymore. But it is a nice feeling not having to change those fellas over every morning. Plus it's going to be real nice when they go on the truck tomorrow. But I hope you enjoyed this video guys, that will pretty much wrap it up. So, thumbs up, that'd be awesome. And apart from that, see you next time. Check this out, number 66. So, she was on. And it turns out that it was all good mating her this morning. It was probably 8.30, it said her heat started at about 7.30, so bang on.